All right, guys, so as you know, the NFL season is back, okay? I'm excited, I'm very happy, and the easiest way for you guys to play fantasy is with Underdog Sports. Now, check this out, it's super simple. All you have to do is pick each week which players you think are gonna go higher. And here are my picks for the week. Underdog is now matching up to $500 on your first deposit when using promo code Bradley. Again, that's up to $500 matching on your first deposit. Promo code Bradley, B-R-A-D-L-E-Y. Do it right now or miss out, yeah. Um, if you guys want to come, you want to play with me, Underdog Sports has got you guys 100%, super easy, best way to play. You can also go on the App Store. I know they got an app as well. Underdog Pick'em games are available in 32 states, including California, Texas, and Florida. All right, guys, so check this out. Sign up on underdogfantasy.com, code Bradley. Do it right now. Easiest place to do it. Underdogfantasy.com, code Bradley, or you're missing out and you're losing, and that, and that would suck. That's a terrible, it's a bad decision. So underdogfantasy.com, code Bradley. They'll match you with what you're putting in there. I don't know why you'd miss out on it. Go do it right now. I love you guys. Let's get back into this podcast. Are we live? Oh, we're live. Oh, we started? Oh, yeah, shit. we started, but not like you're kind of live. Different kind of live. Like we don't, it's not actually live live. So like no. it didn't start yet? No, it started though. Oh yeah, yeah. What's going no, on, guys? Nice to meet here. you. I appreciate you showing up, man, because like I know you got the your, nice, your attention span is like what is it, 15, 16 seconds? Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. It's good, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so bro, you have been absolutely kind of crushing it on the internet lately. Thank you, and, man. I appreciate it, you know. I've been trying. Yeah, no, you're crushing it. And so before you started doing all this shit, where did you where 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 did you find yourself? Like what were you doing? Before you started doing any content, what were you doing? Huh? Before you started doing any content, what were you doing? Like before, your life before streaming, what were you doing? I was in school like a normal kid. Like, I, was, I was a normal kid. Just a com completely normal kid. Yeah. And you were doing what though? Like were you doing any work? I was going to school. And so you didn't have a job? Because I had a job when I went to school. I was fucking 14. No, I didn't have a job. I had a job when I was 15. I had a worker's permit. Oh, that's probably because your family's broke, but no, I was good. <laughs> okay. I'm actually okay. very, you know, financially stable, so... Okay, so your family's here. solid. Yeah, we're solid. Okay. We're Indian, so you know it's good. No, that's that's amazing. I know some. I know two Indians that I don't like too much that kind of me over, bro. Who? T two brothers. That's a whole different story. We won't get into that. Anyways, let's talk about you. So before you got into the internet, I'm getting I, phone call. Fuck one second. No, Jesus Christ, bro. The 17 second thing. We gotta. I got. I got a mute. Right, oh right. my God, this is. You were seeing this in real time. This my is bad. Insane. All right, yeah. No, you ready now? Yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So. I asked you this last time we were doing a we were what are you doing, bro? I don't know what the fuck's going on. This okay, is so just, weird, bro. Chill, I'm just chilling, we're chilling. I'm gonna chillin'. I have an energy drink too. I'm like, I'm tweaking. All right. I know we're good. We're good. Shh. You know, yeah, it's just like the cold plunge. We just did the cold plunge, like yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We got this. They're just staring at me over there, like don't worry. They're just it's a peanut gallery, it's all like, good. Like Sneakos are drunk, like this is bad. <laughs> no, Sneakos not drunk. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jesus. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. So bring it down. Breathe, bro. You got this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had a shot early, but listen. Okay, I'm just curious. We talked about this on, I think it was your guys' stream. You came uh -huh. to my house. Steve was there. Sarah was there. Before you got into this, what made you feel like you had what it took to do it? Oh, I didn't really leave myself. I just did it because I was bored as f So um, I didn't have confidence. You know, it was very tough as a kid. Um, I'm not even trying. I used to get bullied. I know it's hard to believe because I, you know, look at me. But I got bullied as a kid. So it was kind of hard. And then I just would go home, play video games and shit, And then... It just worked out. You got bullied as a kid? Yeah. No, I'm not even showing. Like, wallahi, I swear to God. For what? What did you get bullied for? L all right. Think about it. I'm a little Indian kid with glasses on. I was so a midget, too. I had... All right. Eh, I don't want to talk about it. Eh, I, whatever. Who no, cares? No, I want to okay. talk about it. All right. So, I didn't go to school for like two, three years because my stomach, my stomach disease, Crohn's disease. So, yeah. I had to... I was in the hospital and I couldn't really go to school. I was like, in blood. It was, it was fucked up. So... I lost all my friends and then I went to a new school and then had no friends and then I would just go home and play video games all day. So you're, you're that, that's the cycle? You, you're just like, you didn't have friends because people were making fun of you because of your issues? Yeah. Interesting. And so you're watching, like you're just spending time at home, like filming content? like Yeah, I was just playing video games with my friends. So you're watching content though and you're feeling like you could do it. Like no, what made you feel I, like I didn't you think could I could do it. do it. I was just bored as f to be honest. I had, I'm telling you, I stayed at home all day, bro. I had no friends but what gave you like i guess because everyone nowadays is like yo i want to be on social media this is something i want to do so you were just another one of those kids it was like this is something i want to do yeah and why do you why do you think it clicked for you why do you think it started to work for you like what got you to feel like 
oh, this is going to work or this could work. Because a lot of kids now, everyone grows up now, like, I want to be social media. I want to do probably live stream now is probably like the next thing people want to do or they want to do YouTube or they want to do Instagram. What made you believe like you could do it? Because it's interesting because you came from a place where like you you said you got bullied, like mother were making fun of you for dumb shit, whatever. Yeah. Why I was short you- too. Because my, all right, I was short. I was like fucking like four foot eight. And because my, my stomach was so bad, my immune system was fucked. Everything was fucked. I wasn't growing at all. So yeah. I was like the shortest kid in the grade. It was bad. So but what, what made you feel like you could do the social Nothing. media shit? I don't think you understand. I have no confidence in myself, bro. Bro. At that, all. That doesn't make sense though. How? Because when I see you on stream and off stream. Oh, like, it's different now. Like now, you know, but like back then I didn't. I just did it. I'm telling you, I was bored and I did it. So, okay. So that's what I'm trying to understand. Like the progression of it. I'm just trying to figure out the progression of it. Because people watch you. They love you. They like your personality. They mm. like your character. There are obviously they a lot of They just want to laugh. They want to get entertained, bro. But that's what love is. They don't love. Do you they, guys love me? They don't love me, bro. They, they didn't. Look, I listen. They wouldn't be watching your stuff if they didn't enjoy something True. of you, right? True. So there's something about you that people like, right? Yeah. Obviously, you dealt with the bullying. There's a lot of people now that can really love you. My question, which, and, and love Steve, you, Steve loves you. I love I, you, bro. I think you're a good people dude. People do love you, man. So, so like, I'm trying to figure out where along the way was, did you start to see that, like, this was a possibility for you? Like, what gave you that hope? What made you think, like, I could do it? Or you just started doing random shit? It, it stuck? It just randomly clicked. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a clout fiend. I love the numbers. So I was doing dumb <laughs> shit. I don't understand, man. I fucking faked my death, bro. Yeah. Good times, really, really good times. Was that time. the first thing you did that took you, that kind of took I actually it did it twice. No one knows about this because I deleted it. I said I got in a car crash and died. And <laughs> don't laugh, dude. That's fucked up. Sorry. It's just fucked. Dude. It's, I know it's fucked. Okay, all right. Because people actually, I know someone that people, got run over and literally like stomped to death I'm by a 16 wheeler. Say wow. sorry, dumb. So sorry. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Oh, good. Sorry. Okay. So I said I died in a car crash and then it went, oh, it, was, it went crazy. I was like getting over the numbers but who it was said so you died because if you were me, dead me, me. You, I said I died. you can't say you died and anymore. then I had a fake cousin on the internet during Fortnite so I had a fake cousin I had a fake brother and then I told him to tell everyone that I died got it it was so good dude good and times. that was the first one and then I faked someone being my dad I'm a fucking loser I'm gonna be honest dude you know who Ronnie 2k is from 2k yeah I, I, I told everyone he's my dad <laughs> yo but so so this stuff starts to, like when did it start to pop for you after this kind of shit eh, probably when I started playing 2k I was like another fake i was fake raging so i was like i was like fake getting mad over the game and it was jesus christ bro you're a pussy bro why do you care about your brand so much and look at me bro i blew up off not giving it why do you give a it's not about not giving a i just think there's certain things that like what's your least favorite race i don't have a least favorite race yeah right okay i don't have what's your worst experience with a race hmm with a race yeah like what race like you over like for me i have you know i have a really bad story but well, what's your story um some black guy tased my dad and robbed him of fifty thousand dollars is that a real story i swear to god and then another black like in what i, I don't mean to be racist like, and another black guy uh my dad fired her or it was okay. a girl he fired her because she's you know they're fucking lazy and just stupid wow. so basically what happened was Insane. she came late for work he fired her and then she came with her boyfriend and robbed the entire place his cell phone store i swear to god you're not capping wallahi all. wallahi so you're just like, you just, now you just make assumptions that it's yeah, just... Yeah, and then like every time my mom sees a black guy, she locks the door. It's fucked up. You're... F- no, it's just bad, it's bad experiences. I love black people. It's just, you know? Okay. I think, I know Steve agrees with me on that one. <laughs> Jesus, stop, stop, stop. No, you don't love them. No, he loves them. Oh. He loves them, bro. Yeah. Say what you say off camera. I don't say anything bad off camera. That's what's so funny about it. This I love it. This world is so pussy. It's you like changed, you, bro. No, no, no. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about that idea right now. But it's funny. Like, you remind me of a younger version of Steve. I'm not going to lie. Is that a compliment? Yeah, it's a compliment. Steve's great. I love Steve. Great guy. I love him. But but let's talk about that. Let's talk about the idea of just people and how sensitive they are. And like you, you know, you're testing, saying testing. No, we're already good, right? Oh, we're good. Yeah, Sorry. we're good. Sure. Okay. Um, making sure like people, you talk about me making sure my brand is safe and all this. But in regards to like the whole world, right? Mm-hmm. You're completely like you're a brand new generation in all this shit. You're popping on the internet. How do you see like everything transitioning? Do you think people are going to become less soft or more soft? You gotta just stop giving a shit. Like, you shouldn't take what I say seriously, bro, but you got to just stop giving a f- bro. I mean, I don't give a f- Yes, you do. But genuine about this. Why do you think, number one, why do you think people are so sensitive? Why do you think the whole, like... Oh, there's a girl over there. Oh, shit. She left. Okay. Why, uh, why do you think people are so sensitive? Zone, come on. You got this. Lock in. Why are they so sensitive? Like, seriously. Like, the whole world. Everyone's just, like, everyone's attacking everyone for They take this. life too seriously, bro. Yeah. We could get, we could, I could literally get shot or get a heart attack and die right now, bro. Yeah. 
Unlikely, but yes. Unlikely, yeah. But I'm just saying, bro. You got to just stop taking life so serious, bro. It's, it's life. You got to enjoy it. So at your age, 19, what made you think like that, though? Because a lot of people, they never understand that. They never get to that point. I was taking life seriously. I was just like, lo- I was like locked in. I was yeah. like, you know, studying, worrying about school. And then I just got bored. And I was like, fuck this shit. I'm about to just live life. I do whatever I want now, bro. I don't go. I literally yeah. haven't seen my family in weeks, bro. I'm just living life. But you don't miss them? I miss them. I do. Yeah. Uh, what, were you gonna I, do? what were you going to do before the content? Like, what were you going to school for? I wanted to be a doctor. This, this was my plan. I swear to God. I wanted to help people who had the same disease as me. I swear to God. I wanted to be a doctor. But then I figured out college was eight years. I was like, suck a guy. Fuck that. So now I'm just- a Yeah, screamer. college is a f-ing low-key a scam. I don't want to- I feel bad saying that, but it's kind of true. Yep. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think a lot, I think a lot of people don't necessarily- Not that you don't need it. Obviously, you want to be a doctor. You have to go to college because like, they yeah. force you to have certain requirements to be able to I can never that. work a nine-to-five job, especially with my attention span. I, I can't do it. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like that now. I think a lot of people go go away from that. But it also then creates another whole problem. Like, it's like, what about all those other jobs that people are just deciding not to pursue anymore? Yeah, true. Now all these girls are a bunch of OnlyFans. Like, it's just fucked. The world's fucked, bro. I'm telling you. This yeah. is my theory, bro. Go ahead. I genuinely think the day of judgment's coming soon. Like, I'm a good Muslim. Like, I, I, I genuinely believe the world is ending soon. Soon as in how many years 50, soon? Within 50 years. You think, I don't think the world's ending. Maybe the human population. Because the world is not going to go away. Yeah, we're going away. Are you That's, are you religious? You believe in God? I believe in God. So you believe in heaven and hell, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah. the world is ending in fifty years. But the world itself, I think, is going to stay. I think the world, like like mother, like mother nature, like the world itself is staying. I think it might wipe us off. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. Why do you think that though? Because, dude, do you not see the shit that's happening, bro? Yeah. It just seems like it's it's almost like every year people just want more and more and take more and more. It's like it's like just I don't even know. It's weird. You're yapping. What are you saying, bro? Meaning like like every year it feels like politically and like just it's always something. It's always like, you know, the war here, this COVID thing there. This It's just more taking of people's money and just like control. Yeah. And we're doing this and we're doing it's like it's all just like a power struggle and a power taking and a power taking and to the point where like when are people going to be like, what the fuck is going on? And I think that's kind of starting to happen more, which I think that is related to people being less sensitive. Do you see what I'm saying? Meaning, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't process a word. I, I have a peanut brain, bro. I, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll follow. Take. I'll, I'll walk you through this. So check this out. The sensitivity of people, I think, is related to the way that people are taught, based on like what used to be mainstream media teaching people, like, "Yo, this is scary. This is bad. Be afraid of this." And now there's more social media showing people an alternative other than just mainstream like narrative. The mainstream narrative, like, "This is how the world is. This is what's scary. Be afraid of this." Now there's all these other like, are you following? No. Okay. There's all these other platforms like podcasts or people who are speaking like the Rogans, the people who are doing content outside of mainstream media that are shedding light on like these like actual topics that aren't just, just like basically someone sitting behind a camera kind of being told what to say and what narrative to push on like mainstream television. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So because I think you're such a fucker. I don't. I, I, can we talk about something else? That's boring, bro. That's fine. Okay. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. How many bodies you got? <laughs> just answer right. bro come on i, I want to know more about you you're asking about me i want to know you bro. dude i like this i like this no we, we can do this we can do this um i don't i, I i'm gonna be honest i don't know that i don't know the exact number be honest with you. he knows he doesn't know dude all right let me see a question who's the baddest girl you f-ed? and you can't say sarah oh, it's not sarah i've never had sex with sarah okay well okay. trying to call her ugly no i've said i've never had sex sarah, with sarah you're a very beautiful woman a sarah's woman, an amazing woman. person i've never had sex with her now the baddest girl? Wow, dude. That's like I'm, a, like I'm picking up his phone. You're nervous. Answer it, bro. I'm, th- I'm trying to think. Like, have you f- a Kardashian, Summer Rae? Like, oh, that's funny. No, uh, wow, dude, you're fucking. Just answer, I don't, I don't, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're so pussy, bro. It's, I mean, it's my girl. Question. It's my girl. My girl is the baddest. Who's girl. your girl? My girl. Come on, we're not we, doing this. Though. I want to know who your girl but is. We can talk about that off. We can talk about that oh, off. Okay, that's not right. something I put on. Okay. The Aiden did. The- to me on a stream before he's like i met your girl i was like what the fuck are you talking about and then did you see that clip yeah 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 and then it was like he said it was sarah i was like no dude okay fucking stupid but what, what's going on man what's going on with you and aiden Good that's my boy about. without aiden i'll be fucked right now like genuinely like troll shit aside i would be literally f-ed. why i took a nine month break off streaming i wasn't planning on coming back ever i was probably gonna go to college and then he just took me under his wing why why did you why did you plan on not coming back i gave up i was just done i was tired of it i got bored as f- bro why though? I was bored. I was just like, 
you were doing streams though, just sitting in your room, right? Yeah, sitting in my room. I was just like playing games, like talking to people. It was just, it wasn't it. So what made you start doing the IRL walking, the stuff we're doing now? The IRL shit? Yep. Fousey. Bro. Shout out to a fucking legend, man. G7, bro. Fousey, bro. So was it because you saw what he was doing? You were like, I'm, I can do that? Or you were doing it with him? Like, what was the thing that- I start, my IRL shit basically did start with him, yeah. Okay. But there was a few moments, like I went to LA a few times and did like shit with girls, but it wasn't like IRL walking around. It was like de it was like a camera with more people in the room, like stationary. Yeah, stationary. yeah. So with Aiden, he got he convinced you to start up again or to try the Fousey thing. He helped or? me every every step along the way. He helped me, gave me advice. Yeah, bro, that guy's a fucking legend. I'm just surprised. Nah, am I glazing or no? No, he's dope. Okay, Aiden's a good. I don't dude. mean to glaze, but he he skipped on my podcast a few times. It's been about a year since I've been telling him. To come I mean, on. he didn't want to go on the show. Like I'm here sitting here, like what the. Am I doing, bro? Whoa, dude, that's crazy. Like, how are you not the number one podcast, bro? Why don't you have motivation to be number one? I am number one. I just don't buy views like all the other podcasts. Oh shit! I'm just saying, I just don't buy views. Damn, they buy views. I mean, bro, send I, me the fucking website. Bro. I don't buy views. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm not you, saying who buys views. Start. I'm saying I don't buy views. Well, I should start. Yeah, bro. maybe then I can compete and be like, look, I get all these views, show up. Damn. Um, no, no, but so let's talk about Aiden. He said, and I, I saw this in a clip, he said that he owns 20% of you. Oh him. my god, it's not 20, bro. So, but it is a percent, it's 50. All right, guys, quick interruption from the podcast. You know, I love my online slots, online casino. Trap Casino right now is one of the newest, one of the hottest sites. Check it out, they got everything on blackjack, sports betting, slots, trapcasino.com. Sign up right now. Also, every once in a while, I'm on Twitch, I'll play it along with like Overwatch mostly. It's like pretty much just we're raising Overwatch awareness. But if you guys want to check it out, one of the best casinos right now online, trapcasino.com. I'll go show some love. Let's get back into this podcast. I'm kidding. No, he doesn't want to percent of me, bro. It's Aiden. That's my boy. Why'd he say that then? Uh, he wanted to get some likes, some engagement, you know? No. I'm kidding. He, he didn't so do, serious. He didn't take... The only person who has a percent of is Sneeko. What? Wait, actually? Yeah. Sneeko has a percent of you? No, no. Sneeko has a... Aiden has a percent of Sneeko. Aiden has a percent of Sneeko. But yeah. Sneeko's not even on kick. Yeah, that was the dumbest, like, live ever made in my life. Yeah, it didn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, that's... Okay, sorry. What the f***? No, so seriously, though, like... He doesn't have... On God, God strike me dead. He has no percent of me. He's, okay. he's not taking a dime from me. He just helps me. We're so friends. Why, why it's he deeper than this shit, bro. Like, you don't have any genuine friends. Shut bro. the fuck up. Deeper than that, bro. Shut the fuck up. I'm being serious, bro. You no, Steve's my boy for real. Okay. That's my friend That's for Steve, real. though. Like, I can't see anyone else talking to you, bro. Like, me and you were friends. Like, but I just met you, you know? Yeah. So you can't see anyone else talking to me? I just, you think I'm that bad at, uh, like, friendships? You literally, we literally went to In-N-Out, and you were like, I've never been outside like this before. <laughs> you're a fucking yeah. virgin, bro. You're a loser. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucking crazy. I'm just being honest, bro. Bro, you're funny for that i'm not gonna lie no i don't go outside too much that's pathetic though you're 35 bro 34 but yes i am i am older almost, than got it, yeah you really almost know that bro but like <laughs> think you are 34 years old hanging out with an eight 19 year old kid what are you doing dude no it's a joke bro <laughs> bro but isn't it funny how when i say shit it's just not funny anymore huh it's because you're old bro like <laughs> i'm a kid you gotta like i could do this like when i'm in, in four years everyone's gonna look at me as a cringe bag loser bro let's be honest do you really think so yeah do you think in four do you think in four years you fall off I, well, are you wishing to fall off on me? No, I'm serious? asking you. No, I think within like two years, I'm going to boss up and hit the gym and like be ripped like Steve. Okay, so let's talk about this for real. Would you actually take the gym serious? I swear to God. Would you, do you want to get Dude, when bigger? I got that pump, I felt so good. I know, it's good. Did you, do you actually want to get bigger, for real? I do. Because you're tired of getting bullied. Because Sneeko makes fun of you all the time. Like when no, you're doesn't. not, when you're not around. Seriously? No, I'm dead oh, shit. serious. Oh shit, Steve's girl's here. Selena. Selena, are you here? Okay, come here for one second. Question, please. Guess, guess. Just come in for one second. Just all the way over here. Did uh, did Neon disrespect you when uh, Steve called you? When? When he called you. You guys were at my house. Did he, was he rude to you? Oh, no. You, I just woke up. Yeah, you we're think, friends now, dude. Do you think Neon is, is a good person? Um, I don't know him. You can get to know me, though, if you want. Yeah, maybe if I get to know him, then I'll see. So you guys got something in the future going on? Yeah, we'll talk off camera. Wow, that's sweet. Okay. That's super sweet, dude. Thank you, Selena. Appreciate you. Um, okay. Ask me a question. Any question, I'll this answer This is your honestly. podcast, and you want me to ask no, you a question? No, I'm, I'm going to answer it honestly. Actually? Nothing crazy. Okay. <sighs> Let me think this through. Okay, any question? Any question, man. Your heart's desire. What's your favorite position? Oh, man, that's a good question. Doggy style. You don't want to see the bouncing and stuff? No, I like to reach around. You know what I'm saying? Give him a reach around. Oh, and then grab him? Grab him, play with him, and then grab the neck. Uh, You're a virgin. Yeah. Actually. I swear to God. That's, why would I lie about that, bro? 
I don't know, because like maybe it sounds cooler to. How, it sounds cool to be a virgin. No, dude, I'm actually a virgin. So you don't think it's cool to be a virgin? No, it is. It is. It's like a flex now. That's what I'm saying. It sounds cool. It is. And I'm waiting for a bad bitch. Like, for example, if Ruby Rose was stint. Are you dead serious about that? What? Ruby Rose. If Ruby Rose is in front of me, I'm fing her. I don't care. On site. You're you're giving it up for Ruby Rose. Yes. Dude, you're I respect that. Like she's bad. And I don't you, like black girls, bro, but she's fing bad. You think you got that though? You think you handle that? Uh probably not. I'll probably literally just come in my pants before I even start, but I don't know, dude. I, it would be such a good experience. Walk us bro. through that. Walk us through that. How would that work? Let's say she's here right now. How does it how do you game her up? I would think she would help me through it. You know, she would take my shirt off, take my pants oh, off. Oh, she's 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 helping you out. You're, not You're too old. I can't talk to you about this. You're too old, bro. Like it's just disgust. I feel I love, weird around you, dude. I like the way you deflect these questions. It's just weird. It's like, good. No, it's that's grade A deflection, bro. You you're good at that. It's thank impressive, you. man. It's a talent. It is a talent. Um, so so Ruby Rose is hundred percent. If you have the chance, you're doing it. Yeah. You're, you're losing your virginity. Who's your, all right. Now ahead, I have a question ahead, for you. If ahead. you could fuck any celebrity, who would it be? Any. Oh man, I, you got me feeling like um Travis Kelsey right now when he was talking about Taylor Swift on his you podcast. You look like Travis Kelsey. No, 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 stop, stop. When he was talking about this on his podcast and then he bagged her because of the podcast. He's not fucking Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift is a stick. That's like a disgusting. Bro, he fucking. is. He's, you really think. That's not like a flex. Fucking Taylor Swift is disgusting. Bro, but she's, you know, but that was, that was a flex for him because I think he was, you know, hyped for it. True. Yo, what, what jokes do you think cross the line? Nothing. Nothing. Talking about dead people. People that are dead. Yeah. Like I would never bring up a dead person. I respect that. That's so, the only line I, I would never cross. So everything else is just like, fuck it, it's a joke. Yeah, dude, it's, it's words, bro. It's like I'm coming to you and like punching you in the face, bro. It's a word. Yeah. It's interesting because like I spent enough time with you now where it's obvious that you're like you're not actually a shitty person. But some people probably think you're a shitty person just based no on the jokes you make. No one thinks I'm a shitty person. You know, a lot of people were messing me like, yo, he's a really shitty No person. way. Bro, they were like, Neon's a fucking loser, bro. Don't hang out with that guy. No, seriously, it's fucked up. Who? Give me some names. Bro, just a random people on Instagram. Oh, random people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, some no, some like influencers. Who? Too. Tell me. Oh, some that you were recently with. Steve. No, Steve would never say that. Steve oh. loves you, actually. So who? I don't even want to out him like that. Bro, I'll tell you off it. camera. I'll tell you off camera. Well, say it. Bleep it. No, no, no. I don't say it, bro. No, I don't want to say it. No, but you say it, you bleep it. We haven't asked. You haven't asked me any serious questions. Bro, I'm trying to ask you some serious uh, questions. Uh, it's boring. I don't want to answer. I know you keep derailing into some like wild shit. I know you're right. That's what I'm trying to get, like, really get people get to know you, like, beyond, like, the character. Because I know, I dude, I know you're funny, and I know you're funny off camera, and I know you're very similar to what you are on camera, just, like, less, like, energy. Mm -hmm. But, like, the question, I think people want to know how you, like, really are. Like, when you're with your family, do you make jokes that you make on camera? I don't even curse around my family. So completely different. Yeah. If you did, would they be like, what the f***? Actually, no, my dad did start saying f*** because of me, but... I don't curse around them. I don't make like jokes. It's my family, bro. They're Indian. I get it. What do they think about all this stuff? Um, mm. they try to get me to quit probably like ten plus times, but now they see like it's too far, too deep in. Like I'm, I'm digital footprint. It's done. So now they just support it. But they're yeah. actually supportive now. Like so. Really. So before before it was too deep, as you say. Were they trying to convince you to like yo? You're is it especially is it? with the girl content because I'm Muslim. Okay. So is that the biggest line for them? Yeah. No, it was bad. I was. I, I was in LA getting like lap dances and shit on stream. It was, f***ed. and like at a one time I had a boner like on stream while it was happening. Like, actually, yeah. I, there's a clip. Hundred, not but not like bullshit. You're not bullshit. No, not, no bullshit. It was a girl named Raylan, and then later that like later like six months later she tried to say I like locked the door and or some shit. I don't know. It was. Are you serious? Yes. What? Yeah, and then um and then she got scared and said I was I'm sorry nothing happened. So so your your parents support you now, but before they were like yo what the f are you doing yeah. And why but they understand. You, it's like it's like reality TV. It's not like it's not like I'm going up to people like genuinely like meaning harm. Yeah. But what about like for example the 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 TikTok kids? You ran into the party and you kind of pressed them. Like was that serious? Was oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, no, I was. Oh my god, you got sneak up, pissed. But like, did you ever at one point fear that like they would try to hit you? Yeah, that's why I bitched out. I was like, my bad, fuck. He saved me. I don't know if you realize. I called him out for their fingernails, and immediately when he was pressed about it, oh, he, he acted like he didn't know who I I'm was. I'm trying to build my connections. We're in LA, bro. Oh man, you you would you, would you would if you got like a bigger connect than Sneeko, would you fucking lose oh, him? No, Sneeko's my boy now, but okay, maybe back fine. then, but not not anymore. Not now. Yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah, that's what's up. Sneeko, bro. I love you, Sneeko. Sneeko. How long did that take? How long your his relationship? He thought take? of it. It's like it's kind of gay, but I like it. Oh, it's, I, it's, I think it's oh. great. I, but how long did it take for you to get comfortable with him? 
with, with Sneeko? Sneeko. With Sneeko, it's yeah. We've been like ar- around each other every second for the past like two weeks. So recently, like before I me and Sneeko barely talked, we just linked to do the streams and left. Yeah. And now it's like off camera, we talk and shit. It's like, it's normal now. Why do you think the vibes are good between you guys? It's just the chemistry, bro. I don't know what it is. It's just so good. Like, just it, or like personalities are so different, but alike at this, like, it's just, it works perfect, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so get back, getting back to the parent thing, when you were getting flack from your parents for like doing this kind of like crazy uh-huh. content, why did you just say fuck it? Like, why did you keep going forward? They were about to kick me out of my house, actually. Really? Yeah. And so you were like, fuck it? Like, they said, I- my mom said these exact words, you cannot stream under my roof. And I was about to move to Miami by myself. And then like, my mom was, uh, she was like crying and shit. She was so sad. And like, I was like, but I came so far. I can't give up now and shit. And she was like, but no, like this is ruining our image or family image, all that stuff. But I don't know. She talked to a lot of people and then she finally understood. Yeah. So would you consider yourself a comedian? No. What do you consider yourself? A fucking human? No, yeah, obviously. Besides a human, like what would you consider yourself as far as like content you make? Comedy? Or is it just like... Entertaining. Entertainment. Entertainment. Okay. What about you? I guess it'd be the same because I do a lot of everything. Okay. A lot of different shit. Like, obviously, I'm here making content with you guys, doing the streams, like, doing the podcast. So you do podcasts for a living? Yeah, absolutely. Damn. I mean, I've been making content for fucking 13 years. So, yeah, bro. Long time. Do you think you'd make it that long? Fuck no. Yeah. How long? I've been doing it for, like, what? Four years? Five years? Yeah. But doing it... Doing it at this level, you obviously you're really doing this right now. How long do you think you can maintain this sort of cr- this climb? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Well, because like you think you I see- stress like motherfuckers don't realize I stress over this shit bad. Yeah. What to do next? It's fucking hard. Yeah. It's really hard. Well, but- you see the stuff that happened with Fusi, like going. Not that obviously you don't have maybe the no, same. I've been, no, I swear to God, I've been losing my mind because I live. You live under behind a camera so long, and you amplify everything to where. It doesn't even feel real. I didn't feel like alive in Vegas. Like I didn't feel like a real person. Like when I was in LA doing those party streams, I didn't even feel anything. It felt like it was a dream and I was dead. Like it was weird. That's trippy. It was really, really weird. That's why I'm happy I came back here. I was tripping the fuck out. Like even like, sequel, like bro, we got swatted and I was telling the girl, I was like, I was like, to make up for the swatting, maybe you shake some ass. And there was like ARs over there, like as if the as if like they would leave because she was shaking ass. Yeah. I was, I was No, yeah, that's like completely disconnected. And I was it was that's bad, dude. All right, guys, quick and watch for the podcast. Better help. Check this out. I've talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again and how important it is. Without mental health, obviously, we don't have health just in general, okay? Because physical health is very important, but your mental health, if you're not checking in on it, if you're not making sure you're good there, it doesn't matter how much you end up at the gym or... Uh, I've been there plenty of times. I go to therapy personal myself. I go to talk therapy. This is an easy way for you guys if you want to try it without having to leave your home or without having to like go to a place. You could do it literally all from your computer. Um, so it's super simple, super easy in that sense. Um, also private as well. So, you know, you know, maybe you don't want to be sharing the fact that you're doing this or doing that, but better helps got your back. It makes it really easy for you guys to, to get therapy, to get talk therapy, to get an unbiased opinion on maybe something that's going on in your life that you're trying to figure out currently. Uh, so give it a shot, go to betterhelp.com slash raw talk. That's better H E L P.com slash raw talk right now to get 10% off your first month. Let's get back into this podcast. So is it is it because it feels like a dream because it's so cool or because it's so like not what you thought it was gonna be or like it what just is doesn't it? no it's not that it's just I don't know dude I'm fe- no do you ever feel disconnected from yourself while you're making content yeah and you're like you're almost like what the f- actually going on yeah I I don't remember all these crazy streams I've had recently I don't remember shit I don't remember anything even happening the only way I can remember it is if I watch it back I don't remember shit so when you're making it and you're in the moment you're just like. You're just in that moment. Yeah, and I don't remember anything. Like this, like a. I like, swear to God. Like I'm not, a, and I don't. No drugs, nothing. People like are saying race, I do Adderall. I don't do any drugs. I'm just naturally energetic, bro. I could tell. It's like a racist flow state. That's huh? like what you're in. What does that mean? Like a racist flow state. You're like a flow state, but like since you're racist, it's like I'm not racist. What do you mean? Well, Dude, all of a sudden, I do the same thing you do. It's like it's. Yeah, but it's. Yo, why is it different? Se- I'm a joke, bro. People take you serious. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I know you're not racist. Okay. I you. apologize, guys. He's not racist. I'm I am joking. racist. But it is a sort of a flow state. Okay. <laughs> it's sort of a state where you're just in it. Do you have a hunchback? No. Yes, actually. Yeah, there Fuck you go. Fuck the whole time. I'm going to look so go. stupid on this shit. Whatever, bro. No, right. you're good. You're good, man. Dude, I really want you to actually get in shape. Because when we worked out at the gym, we were doing the stuff with Sneeko at the gym. Everyone was like, yo, if Neon actually got in shape, it'd be dope as fuck. So we have to take it serious. I don't know why you're doing that. 
Trying to fix my posture. Yeah, but like... I'm just kidding. Whatever. Okay. I'm keeping my hunchback. Bro, let's actually get you in shape, though. I'm down. It's like, you, bro. No, like... But but I'm actually down because I train every day. You don't actually train every day. Sure. Will you, will you start training? Yes. I swear to God I will, bro. It took you like 45 minutes just to get up here. I know. Like, you were really late, bro. You I know, were on I'm some sorry. crazy time. I know, I know. I'm on black people time. I know. It's, it's crazy. Fun. It was insane, man. We were honestly, you were like, I'm here. I'm five minutes away. And then 10 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, 30 minutes, 40, 40. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Feet are dirty. Yeah. Got to lock that and in. And I'm bro. getting a phone call. One Let's second. lock it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. What? Yeah, fuck that phone call. Sorry, let me lock You're in. You're good. You got it. Are you ready? <sighs> yeah. Bro, this is crazy. I wonder at what point do you start to like slow down? Never. 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 I could see myself acting the same way when I'm 30. I swear to God, I'm never changing, bro. I've been like this since I was a little kid. I am never changing, ever. I swear. No money, no sponsors, nothing. I will never change. I admire that. You don't think you won't change, but maybe you'll, I know. I'm not going to mature, dude. This is me. Like, you will mature. I, I, I don't think you'll change, like you'll change in some weird way, but I think maybe you'll, you'll have a different perspective on a lot of things, for sure. Because wouldn't you say that your, your perspective has changed? From when you started doing social media to where you are now? No. No, not no. at all? No. So the way you viewed making content hasn't shifted? No. Really? Yeah. Like it's just exactly the same? Yeah. Same from start to finish. So what do you think the hardest thing about doing this is then? The hard part's not blowing up. It's staying relevant. I've fallen yeah. off probably like four or five times. But do you, do you, can you really fall off though? Yes. Are you dumb? That's why I faked my death, dude. I fell off. But falling off is like, falling off is not continuing. That's all it is. No, falling off is people not watching your shit. Like this podcast, it fell off. No, bro, it didn't fall off. I'm kidding. That's 100%. Fucked. I didn't yeah. mean it. I, I, uh, I, I, you're an asshole, no, dude. I, now I feel bad. I'm Fuck, being dude. nice to you, man. I know. You have, you have cash up? No, I don't need money. I don't need money for okay. your Sorry. How much okay. money do you have, actually? Because I'm broke. As, uh, I got to stop saying this because I'm not going to get it. I, I'm broke. I'm genuinely broke, okay? There's no way you're broke. I promise you I am. There's no way you're broke. I have no money. I Eddie, you have to pay my guy. Please pay my guy. Please help him out. I love this kid. He's a f You're funny, man. And I enjoy being around you. Thank and you, I bro. think you should get a big bag. You like my dad. You know that? No, I I've, I. You I feel like a, a white dad of mine. I swear to God. I've always wanted a white dad, too. You, you have one now, man. And I'll get you jacked. A white dad that'll get you jacked. Look at that. It's but fire. but I really mean that. I think you deserve a big bag. And I think I just don't want you to go. Like, do you think if you got a big bag, you would go crazy? Like, you'd like do something wild? Like, no. what would be the first thing you would buy with that bag? Nothing. I do every dollar I get, eighty percent of it, my dad invests it for me right away. I don't touch my money. Oh man. I don't man. spend money on shit. I got Louis Vuitton shoes and I was I was on the floor begging some guy on my stream to pay for them for me. I don't spend money, bro. Really? Yeah, I don't spend my money, bro. All of it goes into real estate. Everything. That's fing smart. Yeah. Who, who put you onto that? My dad. He does real estate. He's a businessman. He's a good fing guy. W dad. Thank you, Dad. That's huge. Damn, that's so good. So you don't think you'd fuck off like okay, if you could buy something like outlandish, what would be the first thing you would buy? If you were like, it, I, ever, I got a hundred properties, whatever. What's like something you would really want to splurge on? Woman. Really? Buy a bunch of women. Buy women? Yeah. You can't buy women. Oh, sorry. I uh, mean. Rent, rent them. You, I, oh, shit. I That's, know you, you've done that before. No? Have I done that before? Yeah. Have I ever gotten a prostitute? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? What? You've done it? It's a joke, dude. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Have you had herpes? No. No. Chlamydia? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, have you ever had it? No. Oh, shit. Well, here you're a virgin. Yeah, exactly. But you just take a pill, you know? Gone. Plan B? Have you ever had an abortion? No. Okay. No, no, no. I want kids. I really want kids. Be honest, really... bro. Do you think my kids are going to come out fucked up? Do I think your kids are going to come out fucked up? It depends who the, who the wife is. I think you're a very... For example, like if I impregnate Ruby Rose, like, do you think we'll have good kids? They come out thick. Whoa. They come Whoa. Out thick. A little kid is going to come out thick. You're saying it come out thick. Dude. Yo, bro, what the bro, fuck? Bro, where are you taking this? Jesus. No, you're just weird. How is that weird? You just called a little two-year-old dick, that, bro. You said like, you and Ruby together would have thick, a thick kid. I'm saying. Yeah, they would be thick. Jesus, bro. Why you make it weird? Like a thick, say what you would say off like a thick girl with glasses. Exactly. Damn. Fucking And then a red Indian dot right there. A, you'd have a dot? No, I'll just make sure my daughter has one. <laughs> are you pretty religious? Like, for real? I try to be, bro. Do you pray as many times a day? I was stressed in Vegas and I prayed at night and it made me feel so much better. Do you really? Like, are you serious? Are you, Why are you laughing, dude? He is You're laughing. a fake Muslim, bro. <laughs> I'm not laughing. He's oh, talking so about Sneeko, by the way. Oh, sorry. Sneeko. What? Sneeko, are you? What? Can you become Muslim? You want to be a Muslim? Me and Steve. 
Actually? Can, is, is that a thing? Maybe if we can still drink and stuff. You can't, no. No, you, you can't, can't drink. You can't I mean, eh, eh, no, you can't. I feel like there's a lot of Muslims that drink. I though. know, but then you have to repent and say sorry and then never do it again. What about you gambling? Is that- yeah, what about when you gamble? Yeah, why are you just outing? What the? F- you gambling in, at the Red Rock. I lost and a lot of money. And drinking. And gambling, like he's the I mean, and ordering prostitutes. Prostitute. Oh yeah, my god, see? yeah. Now Sneeko's just it's, up. it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I love how he yells that shit, it's not true. dude. He drinks for real. I'm actually surprised you lasted this long without going crazy, and like just literally. Being I am on an empty stomach. I'm really hungry. Do you have any food? <laughs> we'll eat in a little bit. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Um. So, with all this shit, dude, I seriously, I seriously want to know. You are a dick sucker. I just realized. What does your chain say? No, it's just this is this isn't my chain. Yo, bro. you're crazy. No, you're a dick sucker. You're How? wearing another man on your chest, bro. Bro, it's my it's my guy's chain. Why Sean O'Malley, he wanted me a lot of money, but Sean. goddamn, bro. Damn. I think that's me as a, as a present. He gave it to Steve. Yeah, but then, wearing another man's name is so no, bad. He, that was his first chain he bought getting it. This is his first chain he got getting into the UFC. Uh, uh, I said Sugar was going to be a chain, and this was like a... Yeah, me and Steve... Is Steve cool wait, can you get me to meet him? Yeah, Steve... Yeah, yeah. Seriously? He loved, yeah, 100%. He's like homies, bro. Damn. No, I met I met I met Sean through Steve and and Sean basically was like just kind of getting started in, in the UFC and we were like, bro, you're gonna crush. Damn. And he is good as f- he's amazing. I don't think and anyone cares though. Next question. No, no. <laughs> Yo, you're fine. I'm just being honest, bro. I know what the viewers want. Ask what? me some crazy shit, bro. What else do they want? I don't, you do this shit. I don't do it. Yeah, we already he talked already about talked that. About yes, I did it two it. times. You did fake your f-ing death, man. Yeah. You God, should actually just die. F-ing. Me? Yeah. Whoa, that hurt my feelings, bro. Yeah, okay, I guess. God, you're mean dude thought we were boys dude thought you know what's I was crazy like father figure to you have you ever made a girl cry or no have i ever made a girl cry yeah i don't I maybe but not on i was at purpose. i was in an la house there was a gay girl and i did, i forgot she was gay so i said the f word around her and she cried Damn. really yeah huh she's okay though probably yeah she's did she did you apologize no did you want to apologize no. why not no why are you so mean i'm not mean dude i'm why just are you mean d- you know what it is, bro? Go ahead. Anything that comes to my head, I just speak it out, bro. No, I, I admire no one's like this on the internet. Who else does that, bro? Steve did it a lot. Steve? Steve but he's go? also got Look, removed. and we're all together now. Yeah, it's true. This is the most, like, degenerate group of people. How the f*** am I here? And now, there go your brand. How am like, I here? Yeah, I don't know. What the f*** is going on? You're, I hope you know you're going to, like, turn into, like, us. You're f***ed. Damn, because you become, like, the people that you surround like yourself Sneeko. with. Sneeko's just, like, retarded now. I like, know. What the f*** are you talking about, man? Nothing. Yo, yo, yo. Look how mad he gets, bro. I feel like he got kind of mad, actually. I felt it. I felt the energy. He's oh, mad. Oh, he's staring at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's because Sneeko <laughs> drank, dude. It's not true. <laughs> I love how he defends it. No, he, he actually didn't drink. I'm just fucking trolling, like, obviously. Okay. Uh, is the 40 minutes up? No, 40 minutes is... What the fuck, dude? Uh, we're on a what timer. A timer? There's no timer on this podcast. Oh, shit. Okay. Jesus yeah. Christ, okay. Go ahead. Bro. Such an asshole, man. All right, guys, quick interruption for the podcast, Manscaped. If you're not taking care of yourself, right, you're not going to feel the best, right? As they say, if you look good, you feel good. So obviously, I want you guys to look good. I honestly have a hard time sometimes when I'm not consistent with my, like, facial routine as far as, like, cleaning myself up. You guys have probably seen me on camera, like, having, like, the neck hair is going crazy. That's, that's definitely a thing that happens to me. Manscaped has actually been really, really dope for me personally because they've been sending me so much cool shit. I clean my face, and it's, like incredible i clean it like super consistently super important to have some sort of skincare routine like i said if you look good you're gonna feel good so check manscape out they have they have this package right now where you basically get like nose trimmers which is something that goes crazy for me sometimes too and i have to make sure that i, I nip it in the butt we got the the lawnmower for the private parts and obviously for your face as well they have a bunch of stuff for like odor just overall cleanliness all right so if you guys are looking to do more self-care go to manscape.com put in code raw talk get 20 percent off Plus free shipping on everything, like literally anything you order right now. Manscaped.com. Insert code Raw Talk. 20% off plus free shipping on everything you buy. So give it a shot. Stay fresh, stay clean. Let's get back into the pod. What's that? Who talks shit about Neon? If you don't answer, he's going to walk out. Well, who talks shit about Neon? You I, literally told me, bro. Who did I, it? Oh, bro. I'm not going to. No, 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 no. No one. There's no one. Bleep it. Bleep it. Just say it. Come on, bro. People def ah uh, nah. Did you talk shit about me, bro? I would never talk shit about. Nah, you. bro. I'm really starting to think you were the one who did it. Why would I talk shit? So about who you? did it, bro? Who would I say it to? Yeah, you do have no friends. So, <laughs> all right, just tell me. Come on, bro. 
I don't have, there's, I, I can't, I can't snitch on, I'm not gonna, I'm not a snitch like that, bro. bro. I'm not gonna be the feds, man. Can't be the feds. They'd be like L. Brad, like fucking, come on. Bro. Snitch on, you want me to snitch on the pod? They want you, they want to know, bro. Yeah, but like, you know, maybe for another time, another pod. He is my boy, but, but I don't need to snitch on the pod, man. I actually feel a way. Really? I feel a way, bro, yeah. No. Yeah. Just tell me, bro. There's no one, man. There's no. I can't, bro. I'm putting evil eye on you, I swear to God. You're putting what? Evil eye. Evil eye. You know what that is? What? You're is fucked. It? You're done. Is that like an Indian thing? Yeah, it's an Indian thing. I, I play I, with dolls and shit, that. and I like, you know. You play with dolls. I'm kidding, bro. Just tell me, man. Bro, I, there's no one. There's no one. All right, bro. Whatever. Bro, the pod's great. Just continue. Come on. No, it's not. I literally just want to know who the fuck was it. You would have two options. You tell me who it is, or I just stab you to death and kill you. Stab me to death just and kill you. Just tell me who the it was, bro. Bro, <laughs> relax. Relax. Just tell me, bro. Let's just continue. Bro, I can't. Continue. Let's tell, continue. Tell Let's just continue. Me. Tell you what? I don't have there's nothing to tell you. I'm, nothing. I hate old people. I can't, bro. Old people? Hey, dumb bro, fuck. Oh my god. Tell me. Steve, tell him, tell me. Dude, just tell him. Bro. Walk, walk off the fuck the shit. It, this is going to be your best podcast ever? You have 10 seconds. You hear me? Why? Or a bomb's going off and killing you. Bro, bomb? What are you talking about? I don't about? know. I'm losing my mind. Fucking tell me, man. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. You're good. So You're not good. one person. Put it on your, put it on your life. I'm on not your gonna, life, I'm you not, strike dead right now. I can't. I'm not going to put it on that. I can't put that on that. Yeah, fuck you and your pathetic ass life. I can't. Come on. That's cool. Fuck you. Bro, come on. Just sit down. Yo, you're full. You have 17 second syndrome. Jesus Christ. W-E-I. Are you really leaving? Are you really leaving? Okay. Oh my God, dude. You guys are. Subscribe to this fucking podcast. I love you guys. We're fucking out of here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. I'm out.